summer, Tommy Ashby was hit with a pain that was unlike anything he'd ever felt. The social circle father had t developed a bone infection in his jaw that seemed unstoppable. Yeah, he tried round after round of IV antibiotics and even surgery, but nothing helped until Ashby began hyperbaric oxygen treatment. Now, the Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here with this story. And Sine and Tom, Ashby is a cancer survivor, so he knew that his immune system had been weakened, and he knew that he was at higher risk for infections like this, but he says he had no idea how to stop the pain he was going through until he found these oxygen treatments. Anything on your body that I should know about? Mm -hmm. For months, this was Tommy Ashby's life, five days a week, pushing the social circle 56-year-old father and grandfather through a brutal last few months of 2018. It was the toughest battle of my life. I mean, I was... Battling. Ashby had been diagnosed almost 20 years earlier with chronic lymphocytic leukemia, which he managed with medication but weakened his immune system. Then in August of 2018, out of the blue, the worst pain you ever felt in your life hit me on the right side of my jaw. I had no idea what was happening. You could have set my face on fire and it wouldn't hurt no worse. Ashby was diagnosed with osteomyelitis, or a bone infection in his jaw, which he thinks may have been the result of a dental cleaning a year earlier. It literally penetrated my jawbone. My jawbone was being just tore apart. After two hospitalizations, rounds of powerful antibiotics and surgery, Ashby was sent to see Dr. Rajiv Mysakar, the medical director of wound care and hyperbaric medicine at Rockdale Piedmont Hospital. He was in a great deal of pain. He was, he was very uncomfortable, uh, pretty unhappy with how things were going. Because Ashby had a chronic bone infection and was worried he could lose his jaw, Mysakar thought he'd be a good candidate for hyperbaric oxygen treatment to give his body and the antibiotics a boost. You're immersing the body in 100% oxygen and you breathe in that 100% oxygen under pressure. So what that does is it greatly increases how much oxygen your blood can carry. And oxygen has beneficial wound healing effects and it also can kill bacteria. So five days a week for 40 treatments, Ashby would lie here in the pressurized oxygen chamber for about two hours watching movies. You feel a little pressure. It's sort of like deep sea diving. Um, so like when you, you dive down, you start feeling a little pressure. It took about a month, but between the IV antibiotics and the oxygen. We started seeing a change, you know, uh, it started making a difference. Ashby's infection began to heal and his pain level, a 10 for months, began dropping. It went from a 10 to a 6 to a 5 to, you know, on down. It, it stayed around a 2 to a 4. Uh, I would guess up until the holes actually went away. Today, Ashby says he does have some numbness in his jaw, but no more pain. No infection now. My bones straight back to normal, back to my self, old self again. I'm strong. I'm back at work. And Ashby says he's been told that that numbness he talked about in his jaw will go away as his damaged nerves heal. But he says he has finally been able to put this ordeal behind him and co go on with his life. So get big deal for relief. his family. Yeah, Absolutely. It's and, and really difficult. Whatever it takes to get that relief. Absolutely. I mean, look what he went through. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the, the littlest pain, it's so strange, turns out to be something that you'd never even imagined. Yeah. I'm glad he sought the treatment that he needed. I am too. Beth. Thanks, Beth. Thank you.